currently seven weeks and one day, I believe. I believe I'm seven weeks and one day or seven weeks and two days or something like that. So now I'm caught up with y'all, okay? If that makes sense, we're, we're caught up now. So um, I do wanna go over between five weeks and seven weeks because there are some things I do wanna discuss with you guys and do want to mention. Um, Cause maybe, um, my necklace is tripping. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so five weeks, between five and seven weeks because I know um, what I'm going through is probably what some other women may be going through, okay? So the first thing, um, overall not feeling well. This is, got, this is the hardest pregnancy I'm about to go through. Overall not feeling well. I feel great with my daughters. I was just hungry. I mean, just like a... A sense of just, uh, like you don't feel well, you know, um, no energy. Um, sometimes I feel um, nauseous. I have to sit down. So overall, not feeling well. Everything I did right down, okay? I did stop ramen noodles immediately. I still do crave ramen noodles, but I stopped them. No one told me to stop, not the doctors or anything, but I'm way ahead of them okay i don't want high blood pressure ramen noodles are not good for you okay so i forcibly stopping myself from eating them okay i mean a lot of other stuff that's bad for you but i'm like i can't give up everything i mean i can i can do minimum but i can't get up and give up everything but i did give up ramen noodles do i still crave them yes i see them in the store i'll be like maybe just one Maybe two. No, because if I get one, it's going to turn into two. Because you know one ain't enough. You got to get two with the sauce packs. You got to put them in there. So that's why I don't even get them. Because I know one ain't going to be no enough. I'm end up getting the, the pack that's a dollar. So I just don't get it at all. Okay? Because it's not good for you. I do still crave ramen noodles. Okay? Salty chips. I crave. I was craving, craving hot flamings a lot. Now I'm craving the Ruffles hot flamings okay mcdonald's fries smoothies all those i am craving fruit i am not craving cocoa pebbles or that kind of chocolate cereal cocoa pebbles and cocoa puffs i was craving back to back i i'm not craving it anymore okay fruit smoothies like i said and mcdonald's fries um ruffles hot flame is i want some of that right now as i told Maybe I shouldn't be twirling in this chair because it's kind of making me woozy. All right, we back. Excuse me. Uh, it's this is this pregnancy is tough. Like I said with my daughters, it I had no symptoms. Like I said in my other video, about six seven weeks, the first daughter cramping, yeah, intense, but nothing, no cravings, nothing, just hungry, and I had them this is tough I'm, it's tough it seems like i'm experiencing every symptom except for um i want i, I want to be tmi but except for like actual vomiting other than that i'm experiencing every symptom you can imagine i'm like this is gonna be tough <laughs> it's gonna be tough for me uh, like i said i am older i i'm not old i'm still young but i am older um this is gonna, this, this is gonna be tough breast tenderness yes um, has it been intense? Um, no, however, I've been having some um, pain underarm. You know, I, I did inquire about that, you know, with the nurses and doctors. They wasn't too worried for underarm pain. Um, and it's been like up in here, no bumps. You know, like bumps, like, um, you know, uh, what they call them? Lumps, lumps and bumps whatever lumps bumps none but it has been pain so thank god no lumps or anything um and i was just like where the heck that come from and it, it came from pregnancy it's just i'm just if only y'all knew i am in shock how things are going this is horrible 
I don't see how people get pregnant and play games and like they be thinking this is all fun and joy and no, this is a health matter, you know. Um, so pain underarm, I noticed that it moves. It'll go up, down, under, around. <laughs> What's going on? So yes, that's kind of, I never had any breast pain, nothing with my daughters, nothing. Um, I'm experiencing every symptom. My mood is very lax, cool, chilling. Okay, it's I'm not um, a, l a little emotional, but I'm not like enraged or attitude-ish like that. I'm this is more this pregnancy is more like, all right, all right, I'm gonna do that. All right, that's dirty though. You know, so I'm more like real cool. You know. But with my daughters, if I can imagine, I don't think I was like that. I think I, I think I had a little bit more attitude. If I, if I can remember, I don't think I was as cool like that. Um, let's see what else. Ultrasound. So I just did go in for an ultrasound. Now, the heartbeat was excellent. The heartbeat was one thirty one okay the baby is the fetus baby cell whatever y'all want to call it because a lot of people get picky and get upset when you say baby at a certain amount of weeks and months and oh it's fetus oh no it's a cell I'm well baby to me so if it wasn't in me i want you i don't know if you think about no babies or whatever i, I say baby i mean you know i apologize some people get mad at that it, I mean, I ain't finna go all technical. I'm not a doctor, not a nurse. I really don't care. So I'm just gonna say baby. Um, baby heartbeat was 131. They said baby's doing good. I was like, I bet. I bet that baby doing good. Um, now, they did find a probable subchronic hemorrhage. Now, this is what's funny. So I went in for the ultrasound. Everything was great, great. She said great. I was like, whatever. So when I left, probably like an hour later, I got the um, results on my phone, okay? Because I, I have made an account, you know, with the hospital and the clinic. So I have an online account, and it said your results of ultrasound was ready. So I looked, and it didn't have a red warning thing circled. Um, and what that means with that hospital and clinic, it means that, the doctor needs to take a look at me, may need to talk to you, okay? Or the doctor needs to immediately look, immediately look at it because something is wrong. So it didn't have that, okay? And I know what that means because my other, I do have some with red warnings on them, okay? I do. And I, like I said, before I was pregnant, I already had health conditions and health problems. I am a heart patient. Um, if I go back, one of my in my urine it said i had some protein that was marked um another one i had that was marked was iron for low iron so i said okay it's not marked when i seen um it's called probable subchronic hemorrhage i was like okay the ultrasound i'm marked but that's not good okay because they put it on there okay and i said hemorrhage that's some bleeding <laughs> okay uh they didn't mark that, okay, they're not tripping. So I went down and kept reading. It said right ovarian corpus lateral. And I think I'm saying the name wrong. Um, yeah. Now the corpus lateral is normal. Then I went down. And it said large, larger simple apparent 4.3 centimeters cis. No evidence of torsion. So from what I had to go up and look, I am not a medical person. I'm not a CNA, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, a family friend. I'm nothing to do with the medical field. So I went to look up on my own like everybody else would go do. And from what I got from my research, the corpus latum is, is normal. The probable subchronic hemorrhage, that means there's like a bruising Okay, I called the nurse, y'all. So, uh, yes, I called the nurse the same thing on day. And, and I asked, and she was like, that's how she explained it to me. She said it's like a bruise, you know, where the where implantation happened. 
Um, if you experience some bleeding, some women don't, some women do. It's nothing to worry about. If we feel like it's something to worry about, we'll put you on bed rest and things like that. And if it's bad miscarriage. However, I have not bled. I have not had no bleeding. Okay. And two, I, I kind of know some things. Um, I have been on ease. And when I mean on ease, I mean I've been resting a lot. Oh, well, shoot, the symptoms I've been having, you're going to want to rest, okay? So I, I have been resting a lot. Um, see, you have to, if you see something wrong, you got to care about yourself and your own health because they're not going to say nothing. Like I said, they didn't mark it. And that's something that I believe they could have caught and told me about. That's something to watch out for. I'm very smart. You know, I seen my mother go through health problems before she died. I seen how things operate. You have to care about your own health. And that's why my mother lived 15 some um, years when she had said, when they said she was gonna pass, you know, that she wasn't even gonna live and she lived 15 years and then she passed. Okay, you have to care about your own health. So I seen that and when she explained it to me, I was just like, all right, whatever you say, I'm bed resting my own self. She didn't say bed rest, but I, I'm, I'm going to, I've been taking it easy. I'm going to take it extra easy. Okay, now that I know that. Also, it's a, this cyst right here is pretty big. That's why they said larger, simple, appearing 4.3 centimeter cyst. Okay, I don't like that. Um, cyst is normal. I am still early. Now, I wish that I paid more attention to my ultrasound when I had my daughters I didn't I was just all in the picture oh I present I didn't pay attention to no results no findings you know so I wish I did because then I can remember or go back to how I was with them did I have any sis or anything so I'm just like well dang you know I'm, I'm a little bit older so I went and looked as soon as it was available I can sis Oh Jesus! When I had my daughters, I ain't look. I ain't look at. I don't even think I made an account. I ain't made no accounts. I just went got my ultrasound and my pictures and listened to what they said. So it kind of sucks because I wish I was more smarter to do that. To go and look and make an account and look at all my results. I ain't do nothing. So I'm just tripping. Like I'm not gonna trip too much. Um, but if I'm bleeding, that's some, that's some, that's something right there. I'm, I'm just gonna figure miscarriage. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So the cyst is 4.3 centimeters. I am early, so like I said, I did call a nurse. You know, she was just like, you know, I'm gonna be too concerned. If you do start bleeding, please let us know. I was like, I hope I don't bleed. I bed rest myself. Ooh, y'all extra saliva oh i can't deal with this i'm too old to be going through another pregnancy y'all all kind of stuff wrong with me i'm sliving i can't talk i can't breathe i can't walk i'm hungry not hungry and i'm always tired and don't feel good excuse me y'all i got is i'm good i'm good okay so um this is just hard for me overall i'm not even on front i don't know people y'all have the cherry this is no this is going to be hard for me like i said i'm not young young i'm young but you know i this is all new um i do have pulmonary bowel stenosis i mentioned that on my first channel so if you guys is this if this is your first time watching this video this i'm not new to youtube i have chrissy values is my other channel i mentioned my heart condition numerous times on that channel i do upload on that channel as well um, I have pulmonary valve stenosis. I was born with it. Because I was born with that, I have asthma. As I have gotten older, yes, it does bother me, okay, my breathing. Now that I am pregnant, I see my heart doctor more. <coughs> okay, I apologize. So, I see my heart doctor more now, and I've been having a heart doctor since birth. My first heart doctor, I seen him till I was 21, and then he had retired, and the one I see now, I can't stand him or whatever. Me and him, I do not get along with him sometimes, but I see him now. 
I was seeing him like every six months or something like that, or unless I need medication or something. Um, but now that I'm pregnant, I see him often, okay? He will oversee my pregnancy. He oversee my daughter's pregnancy as well, okay? Um, breathing is very hard. Doing YouTube videos is super hard. I can't even front with y'all. I can't front. I, I run in two channels at the same time. Breathing. If you if you guys pay attention, now some people so some people so dirty, so messy. They'll pay attention to hard to my videos and be like, "What is wrong, bitch? You can't talk. If you can't talk, get it out." Eclectic, dyslexic. You know, um, there's some people will say that. Um, but it is hard for me to talk. That's what he said. Um, because I'm trying to breathe. It's hard for me to talk. Um, it was already like that. But now it's worse, -er, you know. But I'm here, and y'all know I'm gonna keep going. Uh, when I do need a break, y'all, I won't post no videos. But I, I am trying. I, I am trying. Uh, I do rest a lot. I want to make sure I said everything to keep y'all updated. So that's what's going on. Uh, it just to me, it's just a wait and see. Like I said, whatever happens, if I miscarry. I, it's okay. It is most definitely okay. I have two daughters and I am so blessed to have my daughters. I love them to the bottom of my heart. And if it's not meant for me to have another child, then God placed place me here temporarily to have this pregnancy temporarily and that was it. You know, I'm very religious. I'm very religious. God does things for a reason. So if I, if I miscarry, I miscarry. I think my daughters would probably take it more harder than me but they know you know i teach them and they know you know all babies go to heaven and it's what god wants, and then we just move on you know so it was very hard to to think about sharing it with you guys in case anything go wrong because i said then people will be sad but i'm like they they gonna man up they gonna man up because they that's how i am i keep it going i i'm i live day by day religiously okay and i i pray and i live by god's word that's what keep me going, okay? So we're gonna be in it together. I miss Carrie. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all and tell y'all miss Carrie and, and you and just keep moving going forward, okay? Okay, there's no warning. Uh far as the nurse, she said we don't have a warning on your account. There's no bed rest. I was I was just on the phone like, y'all don't give it by nobody. I'm bed resting myself. I was already laying down more and resting more, but now I know this is most definitely a watch. You know, I'm very careful not to, you know, do too much, no walking as much, okay? So I'm up on my own health too. But if I miss carrying that ain't nothing I can help, okay? I just, okay? Let's see. I also, on the ultrasound or on the notes, it said, Follow up twenty. Follow up at twenty weeks for fetal survey. So they want me to do a twenty week. I'm like twenty weeks. I'm high risk too, you guys, because my heart. So I am high risk pregnancy. I'm. I'm supposed to see y'all before twenty weeks. I ain't even tripping because it's it's a pandemic. Hospitals is packed, so whatever. It's all good. Um, I might not get my high risk ultrasounds neither. This is not a good time to be pregnant. I'm just gonna keep it real. Some people might be mad at me. Some people trying to be pregnant now um, cause that's what they want. And this is just my opinion. This is not a good time to be having no baby. The world is in the chaos, okay? I just keep it real, okay? Uh, so they say 20 weeks. They wanna do another ultrasound follow-up. Um, they also wanna look at that cyst. They wanna look at that hemorrhage. It's that probable, so. I'm just taking it day by day, to be honest with y'all. Okay, so, yes, you guys, I am keeping you guys updated. I don't know if I want to do it every week. Because I think that's just, like, that's way too much. Maybe if I do, like, update every two weeks, three weeks, I think that's best. I think it's best, or unless something happened. But I think every two weeks or every three weeks is good. First to update, okay? Um, let's see if I got everything I want to tell y'all. I have no bleeding. I did best bed rest myself. Um, what else? I think that was all I wanted to tell you guys.
overall i am feel i feel unwell every day uh what else i get all kind of little aches and pains uh yeah it's like i said my first two daughters their pregnancy was very easy this one i get every every symptom you can every symptom except for the actual vomiting okay um sometimes i'll stand up i can wash the dishes i can sweep the floor next thing you know i'm like about to pass out like i'm sick okay like my body is like sit down okay i ain't never felt like that um what else uh breathing is very hard it, i already had it bad with breathing now it's worse -er. uh, i get some headaches i'm starting to get teeth pain i know that symptom i switch i did switch but i make more videos so that y'all know first my diet and things but i ain't gonna lie some of them cravings i've been doing and i've been spending money on doordash um a lot I should be ashamed of myself. DoorDash like my best friend. I didn't got the the DoorDash um, pass for a year, I think. Um, yeah. So I am eating. Okay. So if you guys want to leave comments below, or if you are around the same weeks as me, or experience the same thing, I am. I am not feeling well. In all my videos, I'm probably not gonna feel well. And like I said, I'm having teeth pain, all kind of stuff, just everything. So don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. Peace.